You guys just got off the stage. The sun is shining. It's gorgeous. You guys had the craziest trip of all, so we'll talk about that a little bit. We'll talk about what you guys are doing, but uh, why don't you introduce yourselves? Yeah, yeah, in introduce. <laughs> is it working? It is working. We just, uh, we're broadcasting only to them. Oh, okay. So imagine your voice is booming out, because it is. Uh, yeah, we are the guys from Here. and girls from high school. It's your mouth. Yeah, yeah we have guys and girls from high school. Um, and uh, I'm one of the core team members. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm one it's of weird the when you don't hear yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm one of the core team members, Quickery, and yeah, we doing the magazine and yeah. Mom said in his presentation we also do the game crafting. The All right, so yes, we've got Quickery and we've got. S <laughs> you say it's Mom's, I said Smooms, yeah, <laughs> and it's Smoms. It's Smoms? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. How is that a German thing? Two uh, O's is it not an is not an U? Yeah, oh, you guys like get oh. umlauts. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's, it's, uh, the the, the, the um, umlauts are like uh, O E and it's called uh, Ö then. Oh, so that's how or you. A you E it's like E. Eh. Smooms, I like smooth. Okay, smo smooms. And everyone is calling smooms. me smooms, so smooms is okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I grew into that. <laughs> Listen, it's it's very anglicized. You're just yeah, gonna yeah, have yeah, to yeah, deal I mean, with it. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, so you guys have lots of stuff on the go. You did a ton of work, and I'm gonna try not to be really like Ugh, every time. Hi Q magazine, obviously very cool. My face is on it this year, which is exciting and also terrible. Um, but yeah, it's so beautiful. It's like if you want to buy one, you can buy one, right? So if yes. you're not here at Hive Fest and you want all of the good stuff and then also i guess my face then how would you do <laughs> how would you do that <laughs> should we should we uh, uh, sell them uh, sleeved already or no in bulk <laughs> uh, <laughs> no no <laughs> no absolutely not I'm yeah and also we have a, a shop it's called uh, wh what's the url of the shop hive minus shop dot i yeah yeah hive minus shop dot i dot i hive miners i'm going to i'm going to clarify this miners with an e r s minus. right <laughs> minus okay <laughs> hive miners, not hive miners. I, I think uh, there are there hive miners. So yeah, I, I bet there are, but uh, let's yeah, not talk let's about not. them. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so hi, hi, <laughs> hive minus shop dot io, and uh, you can buy hive related stuff there, like uh, cups, t-shirts with the mm -hmm. hive logo, Ooh. and uh, like uh, we we also buy, uh, sell the magazine on the side. You can uh, only pay with hive and HBD on the page. Perfect. Yeah, because uh, we are Hive purists, so why why should we uh, accept uh, a Fiat? No. Perfect. So there you go. Everybody's always yeah. looking for Hive gear. So you guys have that. You've got the magazine. Um, so this is becoming kind of an institution. You guys have now done this for a couple of Hive Fests, and you guys do on-chain editions, which I didn't realize until I started seeing you guys breaking some news around the platform, and, oh, and yeah. some you guys have a nose for the, uh, I was going to say scandals, but they're not really scandals, but interesting things happening around the platform. Um, so you got more members of the team. Do you guys want to talk a little bit about how this came about? Because I'm sure a lot of people have never actually, you know, realized that there's a physical magazine, but they've seen the digital one. So I know. Yes, yes. So, uh, so, so basically the whole idea of the physical magazine was that, uh, I mean, uh, we split off back in the days from the other chain and, uh, we never had a real life high fest un un until then because there were, were some uh, things happening around the world because that uh, could never happen and yeah. Uh, yeah last year it was the first physical high fest and we thought about uh, yeah we should do something for the first it for the first physical high fest because we were never a physical magazine yeah. And we never did something like that either. And uh, yeah, so we just did it as, as always. So we just thinking about stuff. Yeah, that this could be cool. Let's do that. And then we did it all on last minute, for, uh, of course, because uh, why not? Running late is our cardio and yeah, it worked out. So yeah, this year, the same procedure. Well, it's been really cool. And I mean, they look really nice. Like again, I'm not biased because it's me on it, but they're beautiful <laughs> quality. Like you guys did really good work and I know it's a lot of effort to do everything from typesetting to collecting ads to just getting things to fit on pages. Like, yes, you yes, think yes. it's trouble formatting your blogs on Hive? This this is that on steroids for sure. Yes. So this is this is really cool, but it's only sort of one part of your focus. Um, and so for people who want to discover the magazine and what you guys do on Hive, where do they go? What do you 
you've got a witness, you do, how often do you publish on Hive? Like for some people, this is probably going to be the first time they've ever heard of the magazine. So uh, I, I give them we, all the info. Yeah, I think we-, we Chill hard. Done, yeah. Uh, <laughs> look, look. Chill it up. Uh, yeah, yeah, lay, lay back, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> He's got this. He's got this. Yeah, yeah. N n now the travel begins. So he's got uh, it. Uh, we have a landing page. It's like, uh, yeah, yeah. Take that. <laughs> we have a landing page. Uh, uh, the URL, uh, URL is like hiq-hive.com. Yep. Not minors. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, there you can see what all our projects are at the moment. So, uh, like she said, or like she already knew. We have uh, like the magazine on high for about five years now, I guess five years, yeah. October 2018. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, ba basically from the beginning, so, um, and uh, from that we, uh, when when Hive uh, like split off from the other blockchain, we had to rebrand, and then we uh, like uh, created uh, the brand HiQ. So I was. Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely it definitely is. Yeah, so uh, the idea was we had uh, we had a magazine that was only German, and we uh, like like uh, took the, uh, the those German magazines for old people. Like like yeah yeah, it's, it it was called Steam Ilu yeah. because it was an illustrated magazine yes. from the style, and because Hive was new and fresh and cooler and and better, we uh, had to create something fresher, newer, and better. And uh, yeah, of course we can't have uh, can't have the name Steam in it because uh, it's not Steam anymore. So uh, I just looked through lifestyle magazines that exist in the real world, and uh, I came over GQ, that uh, is a lifestyle magazine for men, and uh, then I created HiQ, the Hive style magazine, out of that. So uh, yeah, that that's how the brand HiQ uh, came into existence. And, and it's perfect. Yeah. It sounds like high IQ. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're but on chain, you probably a smarty. <laughs> yeah, of course. Every every Hivian is uh, smart from from the start, and because it rhymes, it's true. So everyone knows that. Yeah, but uh, yeah, no. But uh, to be honest, IQ doesn't have a meaning. So uh, we we made a contest when we first appeared that people can guess what the meaning of IQ really is. But uh, so you were explain what you were crowd. Like content farming. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Some yeah. somehow you have to come up with content. So yeah. Uh, yeah. And well, and it was great fun. The 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 uh, stuff they send us that high in quarantine, uh, high IQ was also uh, uh, yeah. That's only high IQ people would come up with that. Yeah. I mean, it's totally logical. So yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And from that uh, we. Uh, yeah, with, with, with time we started to do other things like uh, we now have uh, for I guess two years it's now the the token, two years or three years. Yeah, we made a, yeah yeah uh, we made a token on Hive Engine. It's called Hiqs, so it's uh, it's for Hiq shares. Yeah, and it's. Sounds like you have the plural of Hiqs. Yeah yeah that 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 yeah yeah yeah. Uh, so uh, the idea behind Hiqs was to uh, fund the work on the Hiq because we have some like uh, support editors for the Hiq, and most of the people that uh, work on the articles want to, or, or they don't want to be paid, but it's uh, a good uh, incentive for them to get yes. a little bit of money to get uh, to, to write articles that are a lot of work to write most of the time and. Uh, yeah, it's basically to fund the whole uh, uh, the, the whole HiQ project, and uh, um, with with time uh, we thought about some use cases for the HiQs token, except from uh, funding the whole HiQ project, and uh, we found out that curating articles is uh, pretty time consuming. So we created like some kind we we call it a curation not not curation curatement service. So basically you stake the Hiq's token, you can put a comment under a post that you like and want to have curated by us yeah. uh, with exclamation mark Hiq vote yeah. and then our trail depending on how much Hiq you, uh, Hiq's you have staked votes that post with uh, X percent of uh, voting power then. Yeah. 
and uh, yeah, it, it, it works really good. I mean, no no shit posts have been voted so far. Not that we are uh, aware of. It. Yeah, yeah, but. Um, uh, so so th there's no abuse until now and, and, and we like that so so we, we don't have a blacklist yet but uh, <laughs> there, there, there was no need for a blacklist so far so we like that so it works out of the box so yeah it was pretty nice and uh, yeah but uh, it n never ends there so we, we, we always ca uh, come up with new stuff and uh, the next thing we were uh, thinking about was uh, it would be really, really nice to have NFTs of ourselves. Yeah. But uh, what we are think, uh, what what we were thinking about is that uh, the NFTs should have also a use case. So only have an NFT where uh, Smoom's pretty faces on that. Yeah, I mean you can look at it, but you can also look at my face when you uh, <laughs> have a picture of me or, or in the live stream right now. So you you don't have to buy an NFT for that. So. We thought about the use case for that and uh, how can we N NFT size ourselves. And then we came up with a trading card game and uh, thought about why stop there. I mean, you can also uh, make NFTs out of every Hyvian or basically every Hyvian on the Hive blockchain. So at first we took uh, all of the editors for, 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 uh, for the magazine and made NFTs out of them and also uh, uh, I, I can show you the cards yeah, really quick. Oh, no, no, I have the cards here. Yeah, right. I mean, it's pretty warm, but uh, I'm so sorry. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> sorry, guys. Yeah, this is another oh, calendar boy oh, moment. Always, pre uh, always prepared. So we have like uh, character cards uh, that are like uh, archetypes on Hive that yeah. you find on so Hive. You can also show uh, yeah, can, can, I, can I give it to you? Or, 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 yeah, He's got the you, camera. You do that. Yeah, I'm sitting to show stickers, yes. Uh, well, we also, like I said, we have a super awesome live also, stream crew. Uh, yeah. They're doing the zoom in, the yeah. cuts. This is a this is a professional yeah. affair, boys. Yeah. That's that's me. Super cool. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's some, uh, it, it should be some kind of uh, turn-based trading card oh, game. Yeah. When it's finished. The magazine. Oh yes. <laughs> Yes. I mean, honestly. Oh no, is that the big picture of me? Go through. There's some. There's some advertisements in there. You know, they paid big bucks to get an advertisement in the mag. You gotta flip through. Yeah. At least five. Which is excellent. Which is super cool to see. Yeah, there, so this there, is cool. There's a woo advertisement. I know, I know there is. I can't remember uh, where I get it from, but uh, he's probably a cool guy. Probably a cool uh, guy yeah, made yeah, that I ad. I guess, I guess, <laughs> because it looks great too. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, Sir Warmington. Yeah, that's Who's Sir Warmington? Uh, that's a React card. So uh, basically, you have uh, like uh, cr uh, cr uh, character cards. Okay. That are used to battle against each other. Then you have item cards. So the whole game is is going now. You've got. A whole uh, no, it's not. It's not really uh, 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 not really finished. But okay. uh, the game, as it uh, as it should be, is already planned out. So uh -huh. that's why we have the physical cards. Uh, so you're so getting prepared. Yeah, we we met I guess three times last year in uh -huh. in in real life and uh, we printed out these cards and played with uh, some friends of ours oh. that are all, all also working for the IQ and um, so you had live testing on it. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. also to balance the cards and, and balance the effects and and maybe uh, have have to look for the for the like rarities of the cards uh, that make sense so that the powerful cards are not that inf uh, inflationary in the game. And so for people who are interested, because let's face it, Hive is full of full of people who love trading card games. Like yes. That's we love them. We really do. And they're really accessible, right? That's a thing that even if you don't yeah, really get blockchain, you no. know your friends, you love cool games, they're easy to learn. Um, how do they either get involved or how do they learn about the game? Do you guys have a separate site for it or there's probably an account for crafting? So Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. So we uh, the, the game can be played at... Uh, yeah, uh, take that. <laughs> so, so, so the game uh, can be played at uh, playcraftinc.com. Uh, this time, no miners. Um, Good choice. Uh, yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, we also have a Hive account. It's uh, at crafting. And uh, yeah, you can buy the packs already at playcraftinc.com. Awesome. 
and you can also assemble a team for a mini game that we are creating right now. We still have to do some things uh, later there to uh, get started tomorrow because uh, yeah, be be because the first season starts tomorrow and we uh, ha still have to finish some things. But uh, yeah, as I said, running late is our cardio. So uh, yeah, yeah, that, that uh, yeah, that's how we roll. I mean, uh, you have to. Uh, yeah, get active somehow. Nothing <laughs> is motivating, like not getting something done. I mean, it's the po point where everything is on fire. You have to move. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. So that's exciting. So I'm going to tag Neo in because this is actually his live stream. So he's going to jump in and start talking with you guys for a bit. Because we need to see his face. Now, you can yeah. in here. We're gonna, he's going to tag in here quickly. Yeah. No, yeah. here everybody's favorite. Cool. Yes. Hello, <laughs> it's me again. Unfortunately. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. I know you definitely. What is I, yeah. I know you definitely prefer to watch Crimson Club than myself. It's it's obvious, right? Yeah. Uh, so, guys, actually, um, because I was a bit out, I came back. I know what you guys doing. As I know what you guys doing. Um, which is awesome, like awesome. I wasn't, I think I seen something in the past, but I wasn't that deep, you know. Um, what would I like to basically, maybe first thing I will ask you, how is the, how is High Fest? Uh, good. Yeah? Yes. Yes, you enjoy, you enjoy, yeah, you enjoying yourself? Yeah, you have a, how was your trip here? It was crazy, as, as always. There, tell, tell us the, stro the story. So, how, how do I start? Uh, uh, the best from the beginning. <laughs> uh, uh, should I really start from the beginning? Beginning. Okay, first day I was uh, uh, pulling my uh, suitcase from uh, my home to the uh, train station, yes. and one wheel fell off. That was point number one. So awesome. That that yeah. that w that was the start of my journey. Already. Uh, Loaded with high cues, yeah, yeah, I think like 50 to 60 kilograms. Uh, yeah, this, is, this is heavy. This yes, is yes, heavy yes. Stuff, and right? I, I yeah. mean, that it's it, an old it was it was supposed to happen. Heavy I mean, stuff. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, then uh, we uh, managed to meet up in uh, where, where was it in Hanover? Yeah, then there was one uh, one like uh, 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 yeah like like, like uh, where the where the trains depart. You know what I mean? Yes. It, it was closed off yes. because one guy got train stepped. station. Yes. Yeah, yeah, at the train station, one guy got stepped, and uh, it was all closed down. And I was hoping that uh, we will catch the first train that are, uh, that is going to the airport. But luckily, everything went fine, and All right. we arrived at the airport. Had a yeah, a nice little stay of yes. I think four hours or something because we have to arrive early because our flight got uh, at five. 40 or something. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, it was okay. pretty nice. But, full of, but full it was full of surprises. Yeah, yeah but in general, it, right? but, it, but it was our choice, so everything was fine. So yeah. okay. until then. Yes, until then. then. <laughs> so then we boarded the train. Everything was fine until then. Then we flew to Amsterdam. Everything was fine until then. Then we left the train. We got an email. So your flight got de uh, got delayed from 10 a.m. to 18 p.m. I was just like ah, yeah, from, from wow. ten in the morning until six in in the evening. Yes, so, yes. Uh, so basically eight hours. Basically eight and hours. And that yeah. was on which day was that? Uh, it was uh, yeah, first day. Yeah. So 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 basically two days ago. Yeah. Two days ago. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like uh, not last night, the day before, Thursday. Yeah, yeah, Thursday. Okay. Yeah. Thursday. No, uh, no Wednesday. Wednesday. Ah, okay. Yeah, Wednesday. Okay, yeah. okay. No, no, in Thursday. Europe time zone it was Thursday. Uh, yeah, yes, Thursday. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, I am, I'm, yes. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yes I got you. You are yeah. actually going back in time, etc. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. That's so true. Thursday. So, um, 10 o'clock uh, or 10 a.m., uh, uh, but 18 a.m., uh, 18 p.m. So we have to rebook the flight from Detroit to San Diego because we couldn't. Oh catch wow, the that probably cost. No, no, no. no? Uh, they did everything for free. That was pretty nice. That's, but that's awesome. Okay. But, but uh, there goes. Uh, uh, but, but the story goes further. It All right. That okay. is not the end. Give so. us some spicy details. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look, so we uh, went to the. Uh, 
uh, KLM dudes and said, yeah, what, what, what's going on? Uh, can't catch the flight from Detroit to San Diego if we have to wait eight hours for the next flight. And they rebooked us to the next flight and also uh, rebooked the flight from San Di uh, no, from uh, Detroit to San Diego. And I was like, yeah, that's uh, suboptimal, totally suboptimal. But yeah, I mean, what should we do about that? I, I mean, we can fly ourselves. So yeah, it is, it is what it is. So yeah, sure. just wait yes. eight hours. So we searched the table to uh, to sleep on, and uh, yeah, it, it worked for one to one and a half hours, and we were yep. totally wasted. And then uh, we already uh, entered the gate where you have to uh, give your passport and the security check and and yeah, the it's procedure. always it's, uh, yeah, yeah. I that's that's the worstest part. I always hate it when I have to travel because yeah, you have yeah, to yeah. take out sometimes your something wrong with your shoes, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. In that, it, when I was traveling now through <laughs> Mexico. Actually, it was nice and smooth, but uh, I remember in the past, sometimes I got issues. I forgot something. I wear belts yeah, yeah, or yeah. something. It's beep, 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 and I'm like, I don't have nothing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> leave me alone, leave me alone. It wasn't me. I did nothing. Exactly, yeah. yes. Yeah. So, now the story goes uh, further. Then we were at the high security gate. Uh, <laughs> Uh -huh. Flight departure very, very thing. Like in US, right? No, no, it, it's still in Amsterdam. Ah, still in Amsterdam. Still in Amsterdam. Ah, because, so in, because the so you're not in, an, in, we in are, America we are, yet? We are okay. still in EU, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So okay. uh, the flight uh, should be departing on 18 o'clock. And uh, yeah, at 17, we uh, we got an email. Uh, yeah, your flight get ca uh, gets cancelled. Get cancelled. Good luck. Good, uh, good, good, good luck. Uh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. So, Jesus Christ. So uh, the the uh, mood uh, gets a little lower, of course, because uh, yeah, it it should. And uh, then we thought about yeah, okay, we need some KLM dudes to help us again. And then we found a KLM dude, and she said, uh, yeah, we have to get out of the security zone there, and there's some kind of uh, KLM uh, like. Uh, a uh, table where, where, where you can get rebooked for, for, for another flight one All day right. later. And uh, then we go, uh, got to the security thing again because you have to go through security when you go out too because with uh -huh, passports because, because yeah, yeah. you've been already at the airport i mean i mean right? it's really quick because uh -huh. we have an EU but passport yeah but you've been in they cancel your flight you right, have to go back right, right, and right, do that right. again and, and now oh, comes the, and, oh, and now comes the next story uh, the line was uh, like long and we waited like 20 minutes in line and three guys before us and and it stopped or, uh, and it stopped all of a sudden the whole system crashed Nothing went forward. We we had to wait for an hour. Some and bad vibes, like yeah, going we, on. we had to. Uh, yeah, yeah, we we, we <laughs> got really? to, we got totally locked down. Wow. So so, so we wow. wait. We, we, we what else can happen? That was probably your. What else can yes. happen right now? Like I don't know. <laughs> the, the answer can is What's yes. <laughs> the answer definitely is yes. <laughs> So we had to wait for like, uh, or we waited for like an hour into the li in, in the line there. And then we talked to some security guy and said, yeah, we just have to get out to talk to a KLM dude because we have uh, to have our flight like re rescheduled. Yes. And he said, yeah, I can take you to the back rooms. And then we uh, ran through the back rooms of the, of the airport in, yeah. in, in Schiphol. And uh, then we were back at the security gate thingy again where Jesus, there's no I, I, KLM dude to talk. No, it was the ah, same we, the we same. came from. Okay. So, so okay. I thought it was like another no, checking no, no, no. again. No, 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 it <laughs> oh, was the same week we, we came God. from. I was, and I was in Amsterdam and my Chico, mood actually. I know yeah, how yeah, big yeah. it is. Yeah, yes. and my mood got worse and worse and worse and yes. worse. Uh, definitely, like, yeah, I, don't, but, I don't blame you. Like, yeah, you know. but, but I mean, it took uh, half an hour and uh, I, uh, I was like, yeah, it is what it is again. And uh, yeah, so, uh, there, there was a point we could go out then and we talked to a KLM dude and it was all like, yeah, there's no flight until until tomorrow, but you can have a, a hotel voucher to get a hotel. So Aha. we got a hotel okay. at least, okay. which was nice. Yes. What would you like to do? I'm fucking your show. What? So ah! I will make a hostile takeover, <laughs> kick you out, and uh, <laughs> take the place. It's no more Neo. Show it's yeah. arc and show no. You just, yeah. yeah, you just want to have the shade. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, thank you for coming. Yeah. I will yes, not yes. make an interview of my friend that left. <laughs>
Yes. So it was nice to meet you. Yes. I mean, I mean, he can sit on my lap. <laughs> it's my show now. Yes. You can go. No, you no. You can go. You can go. No, he can sit on my lap. Come on, that left. That left. That Wesley, left. It's, come. It's it's your time. Come. I, I forked the show. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, uh, that was how scripted. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you. Yeah, come talk. Uh, you you wanna you wanna jump? Yeah, in? Uh, yeah. I, I will, Forget I will it. Tell you, no? you want to sit? Yes. Yeah, I will yeah? sit on the ground on my own show. Yeah, so you you can. Let's, let's go. Okay, if you wanna send comments, send me comments. I will ask directly. <laughs> Someone. Say, Picking you out. <laughs> yes. Hey! That was oh no! <laughs> that was like half script. I, I, I warmed it. Yeah. yeah. Sit down. Sit down. No, Let's I don't. Do this. Sit with the yeah, orange trouser. Like, so, like, Detlef, thank you for coming to iFest 8. Uh, tell me a bit about your experience for today. Or how, how was it going with you uh, making the moderator for all these speeches? It was quite simple. I was standing all the time in the burning sun getting a nice brown color so I have yeah I have to carry something home yeah and, and why didn't you put a big sombrero and a poncho wait a second why did I put it um, it's um, because tradition here in Mexico to wear um, this kind of stuff and maybe if we didn't have so much wind we couldn't even put out uh, the, the Sun um, with the sombrero wearing the whole day but this doesn't work okay and so uh, it's your five, your fifth I first. I got a prize. Yeah, you got a prize. Tell me a bit about it. How I, you felt? I known a lot about the high fest, and someone was hiding the prize quite well before I figured out that there is something. You know the guy. Yeah. And so no, I think there will be something like B Saturday. Do you have special surprise or special beers for us? Uh, like always on High Fest, you maybe know, uh, we meet on a Saturday for some cold, nice brews somewhere. This today we supposed to have it on a beach, but then we decided there are too many people. There's too much sun. We already had too much sun. It's quite windy and a little bit, little bit chilly, so we moved up to the penthouse where we are only Hivians talking around there for one and a half hour because we saved some time with being faster on the show um, which we spend in having more time for Beer Saturday. We will see, maybe we will be able to even do like a quick live stream from there. Uh, I love to do it. Bring your equipment and I will be live telling you a few things. That then you as well will see the, ha the Beer Saturday sign. I created a new one. Uh, for a Amsterdam last year. Special one for this edition. Yeah, yeah, super cool. Uh, I will ask my assistant if yeah. there is some question from the audience. Uh, no, not really. Actually, not really. No. But let me ask the audience something. Yeah. Uh, dear, lovely audience and visitors, do you have a clue what the beer Saturday is at all, and why we are in week 324? of the weekly Beer Saturday challenge where you could earn some crypto. Do you want me to answer your question? or was If you're audience, yes. It's our audience, you know? That's how I look on it. Yeah, but basically you are our uh, audience I, because you are watching I live stream. I just, I just, yeah, basically I am, I am yeah. my own audience. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. watch my own live stream. Yeah, yeah. On my phone. How? That's audience. That's not normal, right? I remember the, the it's, it's weird, right? Yeah. Lisbon. I, I, re I remember the very first time I met you. We were, uh, if I'm right, in Lisbon, and then uh, there was a speech about Beer Saturday. I didn't knew about it, and so you explain us that uh, there is a, a big community on uh, the legacy chain at that time on Hive. Uh, that were beer lovers sharing their experience with beer. So we were listening to you and suddenly the door opened and they were waiters coming in with real beer. That was absolutely a, a, yeah, an awesome we, idea. We, we, we tried to do this today here. It doesn't work that way. So um, and my speech tomorrow morning about all this is might be a little bit too early at uh, uh, nine o'clock, nine thirty, to have some 
a night called BSNO. In, in Lisbon, I gave the first speech about Beer Saturday. Yeah, I remember and, it very well. Uh, there, um, we had a nice guy who helped to bring in 20, 30 beers for all the audience. And then everyone was jumping into the live stream, like, like you jumped into that live stream here. And we, I didn't we, jump, I forked. Yeah, you forked, okay. Um, <laughs> Very hard. Yes. Yes, I'm in the live stream. Oh, that's ah. nice. So, uh, Penthouse. They all talk about beers here. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah, beer is the main topic of this uh, art fest. After the, after the day of work, it's yeah. something really. And tequila relieving. is a good topic this time. Did you did you taste tequila yesterday? Not yesterday because I had to do with the moderation today. And do you plan to taste tequila? Uh, if he, I taste, I taste, and I taste again, and this ends up in too much tasting. No, there's nothing as too much. Make sure you get much security yeah, yes. clearance. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, too much tequila could so end up in something so yeah, traditionally. So we are we are slowly coming to an end uh, of this first day. Yeah, and the yeah. next day we'll start tomorrow morning at 9:30. Yeah. So, uh, guys, what's your general impression? Uh, I think it's your second eye fest. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, what's your second physical? Yeah, on site. Yeah, yeah. What's your global impression compared to previous editions? So, uh, like the first high fest I witnessed was the digital one. No, not the digital, the virtual one in uh, yeah two years ago. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But and uh, I mean, it's a clever idea to be honest. But uh, I mean, the the first real high fest in Amsterdam was uh, was a blast too. I mean. Uh, he managed to uh, come up with all the places where the presentations could be taking place and, and I, th I think he did a really great job but this year is also a really really great place. Yeah, they really the did a great job. It's yeah, yeah. great venue, yeah. uh, garden here is... Uh, yeah, totally awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so and also the smell from the uh, salt water and the beach. And so this is for you guys watching at us because I always hear the same thing. Our fest is a blast. Yeah. Yeah, so if you are not here this year, already book your uh, your time for next year because we, we want you to join, we want you to experiment uh, what a, a true community is.